Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Ooh. Welcome back to my channel. Very special little day, you know, 21 today. Yeah, so it's my 21st birthday. Like this look, I recorded it. So. Starting off with skincare, I used the Lancome Tonique Comfort Toner and SPF by Super Goop. And then moving on to my primer, I used the Too Faced Hangover Primer. It's one of my favorite primer. The foundation I'm using today is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in the shade 3 Beige. And I'm eating my favorite bagels for breakfast while doing my makeup because we were getting late. So this was the first time I used this foundation and the finish was amazing. It was so beautiful, extremely skin-like. Foundation is a light to medium coverage, but you can definitely build it up. Oh my god, look at the strength I have. I'm struggling to open that bottle. Finally, let's continue with the makeup. Oh, okay, not yet. So the next product I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand. And now I'm going to use the same concealer on my eyelids. Next I'm using the Fenty Beauty's Contour Stick in Mocha and this is my favorite contour stick. This is the only color that doesn't make my skin look orange when I contour it. Next, I'm using the Mini So Eyebrow Pencil in Dark Grey. Now, I'm using the Shade and Light Contour Palette to bring back some dimension to my face. So since we went for a lunch cruise, I wanted my eye look to be extremely subtle and fresh. So I used my Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette by Morphe. And honestly, I'm way too lazy to go get the palette and look at the shades. So I'm just going to show you what I used. And it'll also be mentioned in the description bar. So I started off by using this beige color as my transition shade. The next color I used was this burnt orange color in my crease. I used this fluffy brush because it's more of a blended effect rather than using a smaller brush. Now I'm using this brick shade in the outer corner of my eye as it gives more dimension to the eye and helps it look more lifted.
using this dark brown chocolatey shade on my lash line and smoking it out. Now I'm adding the shimmery champagne shade on the top of my lids. Samay, can you give me a tissue paper? I just dunk my palette in my bagel. Thank you so much. Look at what I did. <laughs> Using the same brush, I'm just blending everything. the Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Nightingale. It's definitely darker than what I would usually use for a blush but this blush is not very pigmented so it gives a very natural flush of colour. I dislike pink blushes so this was perfect for me. So next I'm using this Laura Mercier mascara and I was not happy with the results. I wanted to give my lashes a little bit of oomph since it was my birthday but I didn't want to wear falsies. So after using this mascara, I went ahead and applied a coat of the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Mascara as well. using my absolute favorite highlighter by Becca in the shade Champagne Pop. This is my favorite highlighter if you've been watching my videos for a long time now you know how much I love this highlighter and I've been using it for over two years now. Moving on to the lips, I'm using this MAC lip liner in the shade Dervish I Pink. It's a very light baby pink color and it's basically your lips but better. Next up, I'm using this Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade Bear. Over that, I'm using this Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Peach Tea. And now to set my face, I use the new Huda Beauty setting spray and oh, it has so much fragrance. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to do in the comments next and I will do it. Thank you. Birthday, dearest. Happy birthday to you. I know I'm too.